Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, May the 11th, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro Platform. This is our ETF huddle spot where we take a look at how price is behaving in the grand scheme of things. We are sitting inside of yesterday's range. Remember what I've been talking about. These edges have been collapsing, but overall, buyers still holding the floor. I heard a very good argument yesterday about why the Fed was likely done raising rates. Whether I believe it or not is something else, but that is going to buoy the market a little bit. Boy, the market, if you are a Brit. Um, but in the end, higher interest rates are going to propagate and will continue to propagate. Our volume is truly collapsing in a lot of different ways. We are losing a lot of market energy because easy money is not sitting in the space. Remember, a money goes to where it's treated best. And if I can have zero risk and 5% return, and I've got a million dollars to put in that space, you better believe I'm not going to be moving it into the market, right? Why? Because people with a lot of cash realize one thing, risk is to be managed at all costs, at all costs. They're not out there rolling the dice. They're going in for the lock of where can I get the best rates? Where will my money be good to me? where I can sleep at night and not worry about a single thing. And that is really pulling money out of the market. So the broad indices are still sort of sloshing about sideways. What are we looking for? Listen, any pullbacks into the 410, 49 region, going to bounce, okay? That's my suspicion. There's nothing in here that looks like collapse. All right. Where will I be wrong? Well, the first thing is, because we are below the close of the prior day, traders are going to say, hmm, I better wait until we get above 413 to think about adding a lot of long pressure. If I don't have a lot of long pressure, what I'll be thinking about is pulling back onto the framework and saying, okay, if I lose 41220 I better recover it post haste or the sellers are going to take over and when the sellers take over then we can go down into this area and this is a shorting zone from 412 to 409 if that holds then we'll turn around and bounce right back up but we have to let them decide what they're going to do at the space and right now it looks like we're leaking probably because i don't know who knows something just came across the wires about the old silk road wallet um let's see no 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 that's that's not that's not it <clears throat> okay sorry i'll go look that up but you can see us leaking here in the space now only going to go to queues because I spent a lot of time talking about trading mechanics. You can see the queues really doing well, just punching up. I mean, tech is just taking off and clearly it's divergent. Now for the desks that are, hey, you gotta be long only, they're going to pile in again, where they can get the pullback off the buy zone. Range here is tight. But as long as we stay above the high of the prior day, which is 326, we're going to be in good shape to, come on, to continue higher. When will the sellers start to pounce if we break the pre-market low? And that number is 325 and some change. You want to be super careful there. All right, I will do it. Yes, of course. SPXL. Let's see where we are in this range. We know we're very sideways. We're waiting for this region around uh, 72 to 72.30. 
We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Notice, came right into that 72, lost the level, which is why I say, hey, listen, stand to the side, let it come into the zone. Don't take a limit order. Let it come into the zone, make a floor, and then breach your level. Then you know, hey, I've got defined risk. My defined risk is X. I know where I wanna put my stop, and that's how you make that trade. Okay, so right here, 73.43 pre-market low. If they're gonna buy it, they're gonna hold here and they're gonna push into 74 and then 75.21. My thought is, since they're below the close, there's going to be a problem. Okay, so it'll be a little bit squishy here, maybe a deep fade and then a bounce, but I have no idea, I really don't. I think we sit sideways today I think we chop around today because we had no spike from the PPI or from the jobless claims. So we're waiting for something else. Jamie Diamond just said, hey, listen, I think we should ban short selling. Um, I think he probably has a short position because if you ban short selling, all the market does is fall. For those of us who don't understand what a ban on short selling is, go look up the news in 2008 and see what happened when they tried to ban short selling or when they did ban it and what happened to price. Okay, short sellers provide a tremendous amount of liquidity to the market and when they cover, they buy to cover, pushing price up. When there's no bid underneath at any particular floor because nobody's got to buy to cover, markets just go down. Here we are pushing out big number to close above. This is still very long. Pullbacks into 28.50, looking great. A lot of wicks, a lot of wicking action here. So wait for the wick and then engage in the long, in the TQQQ, that looks like 26.78 to 27.37. All right, folks, that's it for me. Trade well, and I'll see you tomorrow.